Hey y'all. So I originally recorded this on Thursday, February 9th, but I figured that I would wait until this trailer went up on YouTube because USA Today seems to have like the exclusive rights to this trailer as of right now. Anyway, earlier today on Thursday, Pure Flix dropped an exclusive trailer for The Case for Christ, directed by John Gunn, whose other directorial efforts include movies like Do You Believe? and like Dandelion Dust. So this is based on a nonfiction book that was very popular in Christian circles, particularly conservative Christian circles, about a journalist named Lee Strobel, who sought to journalistically disprove Christianity because his wife had been, as evangelical Protestants like to say, born again. I have not read the book myself. The most I know about it really is that one of my favorite authors, Rachel Held Evans, when she at one point said that she was doubting her faith, a lot of people who knew her sent her copies of the book. People were trying to be like, hey, you know, don't doubt, here's the evidence. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> anyway, Lee Strobel himself appears, I believe as himself, in God's Not Dead 2. I only know that because I've seen some video reviews of the movie. I've yet to see the movie myself, but based on my understanding of the arguments he presents in the movie, he's kind of straw manning it. Again, I have not seen it for myself, so I cannot fully make that claim, but he is in God's Not Dead 2, apparently. Getting back to The Case for Christ as a movie, it is based on Lee Strobel's book. Pure Flix is fascinating to me. Of all the movies I've seen from them, I believe the one that's come closest to being a solid movie is last year's I'm Not Ashamed. And I will openly admit I like what the movie's trying to do more than what the movie actually does. It could have been a really great movie. Like, not great for a Pure Flix movie, but great as just a movie with a much tighter script. It has a fantastic lead actress. I feel weird saying this about a Pure Flix release, but it is a little too ambitious for its own good, I think, in some areas. Some characters get too much focus, and the movie itself is not incredibly focused. But they are trying to do something a little bit different than what Pure Flix is usually doing. Those movies tend to preach to the crowd, while I'm Not Ashamed is more about showing an internal struggle. And that's something that, for a mainstream Christian release, is not particularly common. Of course, Martin Scorsese's Silence did it a lot better, but you're also talking about Martin Scorsese. And it's not like that movie couldn't have used a little bit of trimming, let's just be honest. Even though it is a masterful film in many ways. God, what were we even talking about? And as a Christian, as a person of faith, I do want there to be more good movies about faith. And more so the struggle with it, coping with certain things, wrestling with certain issues maybe as opposed to just kind of like preaching to the crowd and painting anybody who does not see eye to eye with you 100% as Satan incarnate. And I'm not saying that's just a pure flix thing, that's a lot of the mainstream Christian movies in general. And of course saying that a movie is a Christian movie is kind of a loaded thing. That's something I may make a video about later. I'm not sure what I would personally call them as opposed to Christian movies, but I do think it is incredibly loaded to say that a movie is a Christian movie, especially when there are so many differing views of what it means to truly be a Christian. Anyway, The Case for Christ, it's a movie. It's coming out. When is it coming out? Hold on. It's coming out April 7th. Faye Dunaway is in it. So it's a movie about faith, which does intrigue me, although if this is going to be a crowd preaching thing, I'm not sure. 
I do believe this is going to be more of a movie that people of faith will watch to kind of boost their own morale as opposed to engage. That's just an assumption I'm making. I have not seen the full trailer yet. I did see a teaser that didn't really give a whole lot away other than, oh, they're making a movie about this book. I want Erica Christensen's in this too. So yeah, Erica Christensen and Faye Dunaway are in The Case for Christ. And let me finally get around to watching this trailer. All right, here goes, sis. It looks like they're marketing it more like a thriller than what it probably is. So the big winner in this trailer, of course, is Faye Dunaway. At least this trailer showcases that Faye Dunaway is in the movie, unlike The Bye Bye Man, which came out earlier this year. Is that the best thing about this trailer? Probably. It's not a horrible trailer, but I do feel like it is a little misleading because it is it looks like it's being marketed as some sort of thriller when it's really just a guy who's looking for evidence of Christianity actually being the true religion or a true religion. He starts out as an atheist and spoiler alert he becomes a Christian by the end of the book and probably the movie so the clarification of a true religion or the true religion is a bit shaky given that he's an atheist at the beginning of this. I'm not sure if I'm explaining that very well. Probably not. It's a little bit past midnight, so I'm into Friday right now, and my contacts are killing me. Like, is this trailer playing in front of anything coming out this weekend? <laughs> maybe it's... <laughs> maybe it's... <laughs> Maybe it's playing in front of Fifty Shades Darker. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. What better trailer to go with a tawdry sex movie with the Chronicles of Riddick poster? Like, I mean, it's just a match made in heaven. God, what else is pure black stuff coming out? Oh lord. The same kind of different as me is being released by them too. Of the four principal actors, two have won Oscars, while the other two have been nominated before. It's being released in October. Is Pure Flix gonna try to push this as a... I don't even wanna say it. I don't even wanna say it. And given that you probably know what I'm talking about, 
given a lot of the focus on this channel. I don't, I don't want to say it, but are they going to try to position that as like an Oscar movie? I mean, if the blind side of all movies could get a Best Picture nomination, maybe same kind of different as me can. Ugh, I don't want to think about it, but I feel like I have to think about it. Anyway, what did you think of this trailer? Be sure to let me know in the comments. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content from me. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to y'all later. Bye!